In this tutorial you will learn how to use photo matching to model your building with SketchUp and use it in PVSol Premium. You will need two pictures of the building you like to model, SketchUp Make or Pro, PVSol Premium 2018. The pictures should be taken at a 45 degrees angle from two opposite corners. Next we create a folder structure containing our project data. Create a new folder, rename it and create three subfolders, models, images and exports. Drop the pictures into the images folder. Start SketchUp. Activate the Use Tools by right-click the toolbar and select the tools as needed. Open the drop-down menu camera and select Match New Photo. Navigate to your Images folder and select an image. The yellow square is the origin of the coordinates. The red line is the x-axis, green the y-axis and blue the z-axis. Pull the yellow square onto a corner of the roof. The corner should be visible from both pictures. Now drag the y-axis, which is the green dashed line on two parallel edges of the building and align them with the green squares at the end of the lines. Do the same with the x-axis. The X edges of the house must be offset by 90 degrees to the Y axis. To check the alignment, you can drag the origin to another corner of the house. The z-axis should coincide with the vertical edge of the house. For adjusting you can use the x and y axis handles. Check the alignment with other edges of the house. When you hover with your mouse over the Z axis, the cursor changes into two little arrows. Click with the left mouse button and change the scale by moving the mouse. To complete the photo match click with the right mouse button and select Done. Select the rectangular tool and draw the base surface of the front roof from the coordinate origin. Select the tape measure tool. 
Move the mouse over the Z axis until the red square appears. Then click with the left mouse button and move the guide line to the center point of the edge. Select the line tool and draw the front edge of the roof. Make sure that the end point of the line is on the guide line. If you press the middle mouse button and hold it down, you can rotate the view by moving the mouse. Draw the remaining edges of the roof. If you click on the blue tab, the scene changes back to the photo match view. Left click three times to select the whole model. Then click with the right mouse button and select make group. Check if the object has a volume. If there is no volume, there is either an open area, a single line or an area within the body. Select the rectangular tool and draw the base of the remaining roof. With activated select tool mark the edge and drag it with the move tool. Draw a vertical guideline through the middle of the edge. It's time to match the second picture. Repeat the steps from the first photo match. The coordinate origin is located on the same roof corner and the axes must have the same alignment. Adjust the house edge with the move tool. Rematch the first picture by right click on the tab and select edit matched photo. Adjust the X and Y axis a little bit so that the rear edge of the roof matches the picture. When ready, right click and select Done. Using the tape measure Thule, click on the slanted roof edge and type in zero. The guideline should be on the edge. Draw a vertical guideline through the center of the edge. Select the line tool and draw the side of the roof from the intersection point of the guidelines. Remove the guidelines by clicking on Edit in the menu bar and select Delete Guides. Left click three times to select the whole model. Then click with the right mouse button and select Make Group. Check if the object has a volume. If there is no volume, there is either an open area, a single line or an area within the body. Now we model the chimneys and roof windows. Select the line tool and draw on the surface of the roof. Move the cursor over the top edge of the roof and look for the pink 90 degrees offset reference line. Extrude the surface with the push pull tool by about 1 cm. To do this, Select the Thule, then click on the area and type in 0.01. With the line Thule you can model the chimney. 
When drawing the lines, make sure that you snap into one of the axes. The drawn line is colored according to the reference axis. The color of the surfaces is darker than the remaining surfaces. The dark area should be inside the object. This is because the normal of the flats are twisted. To invert, right click on the surface and select reverse faces. In order for an object to become a solid body, there must be no surfaces within the object. The internal surface of the chimney must be removed. To do this, we select the area and delete it with the delete key. Left click three times to select the whole model. Then click with the right mouse button and select make group. Repeat the steps for modeling the remaining roof details. This time we don't create a group, but choose Make Component. The difference between a group and a component is the linking of copies of these objects. This means that changes to a copy of a component are automatically applied to all other copies of that component. There are three identical roof windows. We only model one window and make copies of the component. If we want to change the roof window in retrospect, we only have to change one copy. To make a copy of the window, select the Move tool and press the Control key on the keyboard. A small plus on the cursor indicates that we are in copy mode. Then we go to a corner of the window and click with the left mouse button. Now we drag the copy to the next window position. Next we model the roof frame. First of all, we draw the shape of the frame with the line tool. Then we draw the roof shape.
For a better view we move the objects to individual layers. To do this, we click on the plus sign in the layer section of the side menu and then we name our new layer. Afterwards we mark the objects and change the layer in the section entity info. Then we uncheck the visible option. Repeat the steps for the other models. Mark the surface. Then select the Follow Me tool and click on the shape of the roof frame. The color of the surfaces is darker than the remaining surfaces. This is because the normal of the surfaces are twisted. The dark area should be inside the object. To invert, right click on one surface and select Reverse Faces. Then right click again and choose Orient Faces. Delete the surface. Triple click on the model and make group. Check if a volume is displayed. Move the objects to individual layers. To do this, we click on the plus sign in the layer section of the side menu and then we name our new layer. Afterwards we mark the objects and change the layer to the newly created layer. Then we uncheck the visible option. To model the ground floor, we need reference lines. To do this, we select the tape measure tool and move the reference to the Z axis to the house edge. It is important that the reference line is drawn on the roof, otherwise it hangs somewhere in the 3D space and has no relation to the house. Then we use the line tool to draw an edge from the reference line along the Y axis. The line tool automatically snaps into the X axis. Then we move the edge with the move tool along the reference line until it matches the house edge. Repeat the steps for the remaining edges. Delete protruding edges with the Erase tool. Then use the Pull Push tool to extrude the ground surface. Save your project in the Models folder. Next we assign materials to the objects. As texture we use the background images from the photo match perspectives. Activate the photo match view by clicking on the corresponding tab. Double click on the roof object to activate it. Then select the roof surface. Then right click and choose Project Photo. Repeat the steps for all visible surfaces of your object. Do the same with the other objects of the house. If the question is asked, trim partially visible faces? It is important to answer with no.
Repeat the steps for all objects with both views. To export the model we select in the file menu, export, 3D model. We select DIA e file and click on options. Select Triangulate All Faces and Export Texture Maps. Click on Export. In PVSOL Premium select the Import option. Load the exported model and drag it into the simulation environment. The scale of the model may need to be adjusted. Your model is ready for simulation. Thank you for watching.